I always feel like I have a never-ending to-do list. Sometimes I get so anxious that simple tasks like getting out of bed or doing errands can be so difficult. But some of my goals this year are to be more gentle with myself, slow down, take things one day at a time, and just be in the present. Welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be a pretty eventful day. We're actually gonna pick up my mom from my sisters in a bit. She's staying with us for the next couple of weeks, which is very exciting because we get to spend quality time with her. And I just miss her home cooked meals as well. So hopefully while she's here, she can teach me how to cook Filipino food because y'all already know that my cooking skills need a little bit of improvement. <laughs> do a little bit of a Costco run and pick up some groceries but before we do all that let's grab some coffee so it should be Super Mario right is it what the fuck is this? it's from like Super Mario Galaxy delicious lunch at McDonald's, we headed over to my sister's to pick up my mom and we were welcomed in the cutest way possible. Look who we picked up! Mm -hmm. It's me! Are you excited to stay with us? No. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now we are going to Costco. We're gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping. Yeah.
then for dinner, we decided to try out this teriyaki stir fry udon that we picked up at Costco earlier. It just sounded really, really yummy. <laughs> Good afternoon actually because I still haven't fixed my sleep schedule yet. It's like 1 p.m. But for the past hour, I've been designing digital rewards and also a new Valentine's Day print. But I want to show you my January rewards that I worked on this month because I think they turn out so cute. They're inspired by the Lunar New Year rabbit and they have motivational quotes on it that will hopefully get you through the new year. I know that they've really helped me, so hopefully they do the same for you. They're currently in production at the moment and they should arrive by the end of the week. I also repurposed one of the designs into a print because I just thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I also designed it like a postcard if you want to write anything to your loved ones. They're available on my website right now if you want to grab one. So I don't have too much planned today other than editing a bunch of videos because I need to catch up on a lot of my reels, my TikToks, and just editing my YouTube videos. So that's what I'm going to do for like the majority of the day. But I also had some people PR that came in yesterday that I'm gonna unbox and then hopefully later today my mom and I are gonna go on a walk I have been so behind on my mail for the past couple of weeks and a lot of PR has been piling up in my apartment so I decided to finally open up a few of them. So as you can see, I have a lot of PR that I need to open today. Let's start with Hot Topic. Ooh. The first thing is this Sailor Moon blanket. I'll probably unbox this over on my reels and my TikTok, which you can check out. This one is super cute. It has both of the cats in the front. And the other thing that I picked up at Hot Topic was this Kiss and Tell corded telephone. It's basically like one of those vintage looking telephones with the wire and it's shaped like lips. I think it would look so cute like on my bookshelf in my studio. I'll definitely include this if I redecorate my art studio, probably in another video. Let's move on to all of the other boxes from Kiss. I feel like it might be like false lashes. Let's unbox this first one. Oh! 
I was right. It's a bunch of false lashes. A little compact mirror. This is gonna be really useful for like events if I ever leave my apartment. <laughs> Moving on to the second box. Ooh, there's a lot more false lashes, but they're the individual ones. Some mascara as well, makeup remover. Wow, they really spoiled me. Okay, the next box. This is a lot of stuff. There's a bunch of nail supplies. There's some eyeliner. So there's more false lashes as well. And then the very last box, and it's the biggest one. There's... Are you guys even surprised? There's more lashes. I literally am set for life. So many lashes. I don't even know when I'm gonna use this. Very, very excited to try out these products. I know there's so many. Look, look. Oh, that's nice. So I've just been editing for the last couple of hours and I just wanna really get a head start on my YouTube video because I typically edit the night before a premiere and I really want to avoid doing that so I feel like I have a big head start and I got a bulk of the editing done actually. Right now we're gonna head out, we're gonna go to Walgreens first and take a passport photo for my mom and then we're also gonna go on a little walk through the park as well hopefully before the sun sets because the weather is really nice lately and the sun has been out so I just want to enjoy the weather. The weather is so nice today, it's so sunny and I honestly really missed it because it's been so cold. We just got home from our walk and it was really nice. I really love the weather lately, so I just really wanted to take advantage of it. So my mom is making chicken adobo for dinner, a classic Filipino dish. I actually don't really know how to cook much Filipino food, so I took this as an opportunity to learn. This was super easy to make by the way, but I'm just really excited to learn new recipes from my mom. Marinate this for at least 30 minutes with vinegar and soy sauce. What is the ratio for, for adobo? For me, there's no ratio. I don't know. No measurements? No. How do you know? I know because I've been cooking. Penetrate. <laughs> and the meat. That sounds dirty. Huh? Penetrate is a dirty word. What? Nasty. I set a timer. Yeah. Starting now? Yeah. probably call it a night now. I know these past few days were super cozy and chill, but I still hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. As always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone!